Hey YouTubers, uh, well today I want to talk about the P430, that code that nobody seems to know what's going on. It is related to your O2 sensor, Bank 2 I believe. Now this is my O4 Mountaineer 4.6. Um, I had that problem before I fixed it and I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, I've actually, let's see, uh, I've already cleared it, it's gone. Um, but uh, what's going on? is uh, a lot of people are saying I've, I've been reading a lot of crazy stuff online which is not true uh, they're all saying uh, rip out your oxygen sensor put a new one in it uh, it's your catalytic converter blah 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 and I've heard so many ridiculous things now more than likely if you have a Ford have a plastic intake there's my old one what happens is they develop cracks in the casing. And I'm going to show you one crack in this particular one here. See right there, that crack? What happens? Sometimes they get cracked and this gasket that's on here, the factory gasket, it gets squished down so far, far, it doesn't do its job. And sometimes air gets into these intakes. It sucks into the engine. And what happens when that O2 senses a little more oxygen than it should be getting in the engine, that check engine light will come on and also if you have a coolant leak doesn't have to be much just a little bit it'll start sucking cooling in past those gaskets and that will also throw your check engine light on so a lot of this craziness about uh, rip off your catalytic converter change your oxygen sensor it's not true and this almost goes true for any car that has an intake and has those rubbery gaskets if you have a p430 that is your problem. Also, uh, check your coolant. If you're losing coolant, that's another indicating cater uh, that you have a problem with moisture getting into your engine and throwing that check engine light on, hitting that O2 sensor. So there's a lot, like I said, a lot of crazy stuff on there. This particular engine, I've changed this intake. I put new gaskets on it, and I've not had that light come back on. This is probably the fifth or sixth uh, vehicle I've done, and the P430 has been a problem and people just don't know what to do. So I just want to pass this information along. Don't listen to everybody. I mean, in extreme cases, yeah, there could be an O2 sensor bad or a catalytic converter, but 99% of the time, what I have seen, that is not the case. It is your intake. It's either a gasket or a crack somewhere that's letting too much oxygen or too much uh, moisture into the system. So you definitely want to check that. And also, you know, check your uh, oil cap. If you see moisture in there, then, you know, that's a good indication, sure, uh, indica indica indicating that is a good indication of perhaps moisture uh, getting into your system, too. So, I uh, just wanted to kind of pass this out along. I don't want you spending all that money for nothing because a lot of times information can get kind of uh, misled. And a lot of times you'll see people just saying whatever they think, which which uh, most of the time they don't have any experience on vehicles. So there you go. And there's another good look at my uh, Mountaineer. I'm actually going to be selling it pretty soon. Uh, All-wheel drive. It's a good running car. And I'm going to go ahead and start this up real quick and show you. I don't have any uh, check engine lights. No codes. And everything seems to be uh, doing pretty good. Gauges are all good. And you see no check engine lights. I figured that code would stay on my, uh, well, let's see, it's went off. So I took the code with it a couple days ago. <clears throat> but it's running good. So that P430, don't let it drive you crazy. Just uh, start thinking about your intake. It's usually the source of it. And uh, it's usually a pretty easy fix. And that way you can get right to the source. And you don't have to spend all the money of replacing oxygen sensors, catalytic converters. That stuff gets really expensive. Just get right into the intake and start checking that out. A lot of times you can take a, a carburetor cleaner and spray around that intake. And if that engine idle changes a little bit, that's another way, another way you can find out if you have an intake leak or uh, something that's uh, kind of uh, getting in that exhaust, that engine intake that it's not supposed to be. So. There you go. I thought I'd pass that information along. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great afternoon, and good luck.